Candyandsoda.com. Candy and soda. Nothing wrong with that business model. <laughs> no, no, it, it sells itself. No wonder they're having a good day. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll definitely keep you in a good mood. Uh, well, hopefully uh, the temperatures yesterday put you in a good mood. It's very mild for this time of year. We had a lot of valleys that were hovering uh, in the 50s and 60s. In fact, in the far south, St. George hit 65. It was 10 degrees lower than that in Salt Lake. We hit 54, but that put us 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. Our average low is 29 degrees, and we're starting out a little bit above that in Salt Lake. It's currently 32. Mid-20s in Elko and Ely. It's in the upper 20s in Moab, starting out near 40 degrees in St. George. And uh, the yellow and the orange here indicate high pressure, which continues to build and will dominate the weather pattern for the rest of the week, keeping it dry. So uh, no big storms in the forecast anytime soon, even though tomorrow a weak system will brush by the north uh, that will bring a few clouds, cool the temperature off a few degrees. That's about it. It's not going to be enough to break up the inversions that have been building. Those will continue. And as the week progresses, uh, valley haze will be increasing. So again, if you can cut back on driving, that we're really help things out until we get a stronger storm to come through and scour some of that out of here. A weak system is going to move by on Saturday that might bring some very light mountain snow, especially in the far north, but it's not going to be enough to change things up really. Today, it'll be sunny and hazy, but at least the temperature will climb as high as it did yesterday. It looks like we'll hit 54 in Salt Lake City, so you won't have to uh, crank the furnace up as high. That's some good news. 52 in Park City, it'll be hovering near 60 in a lot of the western valleys, uh, mid-50s in Blanding, mid-60s in St. George. Sunshine, stay white. And tomorrow, you'll warm all the way up near 70 degrees in St. George. Only drop a little bit lower than that by the middle of the week and then still be in the mid-60s and mostly sunny heading into the weekend with overnight readings hovering near 40. And for northern Utah tomorrow, we'll have a few clouds around in the morning. Otherwise, it'll become mostly sunny. And with the inversion, it's still going to be hazy. Temperature will hover near 50 on Tuesday and Wednesday. Warm up a little bit more on Thursday, but... Uh, only drops slightly lower than that by the weekend. And even though that weak storm brushes by that might bring the light mountain snow in the valleys, it looks like it'll be part